Tonight on CBN Studio 5 program, we have some exclusive interviews from the Movie Guide Awards, including Oscar winner John Voight, Cheryl Ladd, and more. Here's Ephraim Graham with that story. It's a star-studded evening here in Hollywood, and Studio 5 is on the red carpet with the stars attending the 27th annual Movie Guide Awards. Like legendary actor John Voigt. What makes you come out to an event like the Movie Guide Awards? Uh, what is it pulls you here? Well, I, I just so appreciate what these guys are doing. You know, uh, the movies that they're making, the high purpose of the movies. It's easy to snap a few shots of some very familiar faces at this annual celebration of uplifting entertainment. Madeline Carroll, who starred in the film I Can Only Imagine, is here to present an award. How do you feel about the success of I Can Only Imagine? It's unbelievable. It's like, it's like you can't even really put it into words because it literally just was God. He just had his way and it just went and went and went and I did not expect it to do as well as it did. I, I thought it was special, obviously, to me, you know, and my, my personal journey with the movie. Um, but did I think that it was going to resonate as much as it did with people? I didn't, honestly, I didn't think so. I mean, I thought it would do well, but not the way that, that has, how, how well it did. Uh, it's just been a, a blessing. Also a blessing. I take these broken wings and learn to fly. Voice contestant Spencia Baker is here to perform on the Movie Guide Award stage. I feel like I've been listening to your voice for a long time, since you like were a, a kid. You know, 14 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been a long journey for sure. I took the evolution from gospel music into country music. Um, it never shifted the, the faith aspect of my life, so I'm very excited to be a part of an event like this where that is celebrated. Absolutely. So country music. Yeah. What, what is it about is country something? music? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I'm you know, a young African-American female mm -hmm. in country music. Yes. It's not very common. <laughs> no. So I am just setting myself up here. Uh, but it's, a, it's kind of an uncharted territory, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. And for me, it was a natural progression from gospel. Um, you know, gospel music is all about your testimony and your mm -hmm. story. And mm -hmm. so is country music. It's about telling the story. Absolutely. And uh, I feel like I'm able to combine both worlds now, and it's really nice. And speaking of storytelling, up for the night's highest honor, the Epiphany Prize, are Unbroken, Path to Redemption, The Grinch, and Paul, the Apostle of Christ. And you know, before the Movie Guide Awards goes on the Hallmark Channel, you may want to watch these movies and pick out your winner and maybe pray that it will win at the Movie Guide Awards. <laughs> this year, Studio 5 is also exclusively backstage for the annual Movie Guide Awards, where we find actress Cheryl Ladd, perhaps best known for her role in the hit ABC series, Charlie's Angels. What brings you to the Movie Guide Awards tonight? Well, I got to, the opportunity to do a really fun episode of Malibu Dan. I, I play David A.R. David White's mother, and I love the character. The writing was really good, really fun, and really interesting, and a little off the wall, which I liked. <laughs> um, and she is a little bit of a tough cookie, but she's got a heart of gold, and she loves her family. Do you look and seek out roles like that? I do. Why? Well, I must say that I am enjoying my craft far more now, that I'm sort of not that leading lady. They're, they're you know, and I've lived a, a pretty full life, and I have a lot to bring, and I am a mother and a, a grandmother, and, um, you know, there are a lot of elements uh, of me now that didn't exist when I was 25 years old. The Movie Guide Awards wear next Monday on the Hallmark Channel, and you can see this story and more on tonight's Studio 5 program, including a first look at the new movie Run the Race film produced by Tim Tebow. It comes out this Friday, and we're going to have Ephraim's interview with Tebow about the movie and his recent engagement. You can see all that on our Studio 5 program. It's tonight at 9.30, only on the CBN News Channel.